My name is Aliona, and I travel the world by motorcycle with my Honda Hornet, aka the Bee. This time we're heading to Siberia to explore the regions of Altai and Hakasia. We'll have breathtaking views, awesome roads, and a good amount of challenge to make it even more exciting and memorable. Let's ride! Good morning! I'm saying thank you to my wonderful hosts, Yelena and Alexei, and getting ready to go get the bee. <laughs> Welcome again! <laughs> thank you! Welcome! It's a great company! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! С удовольствием! Oh my god, once again. It's hard to leave. I was going to leave at 10 a.m. and now it's 1 p.m. Because Alexei and Yelena are just absolutely wonderful, amazing people. And we had so many interesting conversations about everything. So many experiences to share, so many stories to tell. I'm so happy I met them. And now, we're living in Abakan and heading to one very special, let's call it, both place and event. <laughs> Today I'm going to the lake Belo. There are actually a few lakes nearby. One of them is Shira, one of Belo, and a few more which I don't remember their names. My plan was to go there because finally the weather is really good. It's like 30 degrees during the day, so proper summer weather. And even during the night it's about like 20 degrees. And I want to camp. Like, I've been carrying my tent with me for the last five weeks and I haven't used it yet so I can't wait to camp to just enjoy the, the lake, the sunshine, the nature around me and uh, by complete coincidence I figure out that this weekend, today is a Saturday that this weekend there is a motorcycle festival at exactly the same lake at the Lake Bello. <laughs> I had no idea it was going to take place and I was just randomly told about it by uh, the uh, bikers I met a few days ago. And yeah, I've never been to a motorcycle festival before, ever in my life. So on one hand I'm very excited to see what it's like. <laughs> But on the other hand, I'm a little bit uh, anxious because I know you're not going to believe it, but I'm an introvert. <laughs> um, so it feels very, very uncomfortable for me to engage in a massive uh, social activity. Actually, I was going to go to the lake already yesterday, uh, but uh, I found an excuse. I went to National Park Yergaki. Partly it was because I wanted to avoid, you know, the social engagement. <laughs> so it's uh, quite a big effort for me to to go there and face a lot of people that I don't know. But I like to challenge myself, and I know I'm gonna be happy about it in the end. I know I'm gonna enjoy it. I hope so at least. So let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. Oof, I, yeah. <laughs> First motorcycle festival in my life. Whee! Exciting! <laughs> I'm wondering if these guys go into the festival as well. More bikers. Are they going back from the festival already? <laughs> Beautiful lake. Very pretty lake. And some hills. And 
slightly curvy road. And horses. Beautiful. And 45 kilometers left. Oh my god. Until I have to face this big crowd of people. <laughs> How do I do it? How do I do it? Toughen up, Alona. You can. <laughs> you can face so many people. No, seriously, it was easier for me, like psychologically, it was easier for me to do the live interview two days ago than now <laughs> going to this festival. Below Lake. To the right. Ooh. I can see two are going to overtake me. I like that feeling of biker community. Keep seeing lakes on the left, on the right, on the left, on the right. Some of these lakes are freshwater lakes and some of them are salt lakes bike party that's what we need bike party here we come the two lakes one of them is salty another one is fresh water no wonder which one's which I think the right one is salt it looks more pinkish so I stopped to check the exact location Maybe this guy knows better. It's okay, I can't check it. It's better than following a random guy. Oh, almost, almost there. 600 meters. All right. 600 meters, I think we should be able to do it. <laughs> Smells so good here. Something is blooming. Ooh, yeah, I think I can see something. I think I can see a lot of tents. Oh, wow. Pretty cool. Oh, whoop. A little bit of sand. Very nice, slightly adventurous entrance to the to the camp. So if you're a completely brand new rider, you've got a little test here. Let's see what they say. Что приедет какая-то девушка, которая на, на Африке 40 тысяч километров проехала. Это она. Нет, она не на Африку. Она 40 тысяч проехала как путешествие. У меня 40 тысяч, а в Африку съездила туда-обратно. Не девушка на Африке, а девушка, которая съездила в Африку 40 тысяч. А, а это девушка, которая ездила в Африку. Ну да. So it's funny, I've been introduced as a girl on Africa. <laughs> who did 40,000 kilometers in one trip and I'm not a girl on Africa I'm a girl who went to Africa and did 40,000 kilometers in one trip okay where are they the guys that I met a few days ago in Abaza six bikers from Krasnoyarsk are somewhere here and let's go search for them a little bit bumpy oh, look at this so I guess somewhere here Дима. Привет! The campsite. Come on, 
photo session going on. Some more attempts, more motorcycles. And I'm just walking around and wow. <laughs> just look at this awesomeness. This is so cool. Look at the amount of motorcycles and tents and this beautiful Salt Lake. It's uh, yeah, the first time I'm at a motorcycle festival and I'm just amazed to see so many motorcycles in one place. Super cool. I think if I didn't know the guys who invited me to join their camp, I would be camping somewhere here, you know, on the very outskirts of the whole festival. Like, <laughs> that much of an introvert I am. But yeah, now I'm like in the very center, next to the stage almost. <laughs> now I escape for a little bit to just enjoy the silence. I mean, it's not silence, I can still hear the music, but I can just quietly walk around and look at the motorcycles because that's what I like doing. <laughs> I want a mug for the longest trip then to get to the festival. <laughs> it's like, I wasn't even going to the festival, but how long it was. 